Alright guys, we got this. Let's go gun and white trip speed. Close next go. On one, on one. Ready? Ready. What is happening guys? It's Spruce Goose here back with another breakdown for the Huddle.gg YouTube channel. And in today's video, I want to talk about a type of play that does not get used a whole lot in Madden 22, but it's a lot of fun and it can really catch your opponents off guard. And that is the triple option. Now, part of the reason I want to make this video was that this past weekend in the MCS Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament, which is a $250,000 pro tournament sponsored by EA, the pro player AI Nash actually used the play triple option out of Pistol Week on one of his touchdown runs. And it made me want to take a deeper dive into triple option. And so I'm going to show you guys the play that he used in the tournament. I'm also going to show you guys what I think is the best triple option in the entire game. So right now, let's call triple option out of pistol week. Let's call random play on defense. And on most triple option plays, what you're going to have is a read key and a pitch key. And so the read key is the defender with the R above his head. The pitch key is the defender with the P above his head. So this is just triple option 101, if anyone's not familiar. but Basically, oh, I don't know uh, why those icons are shifting around, but uh, typically they will stay stationary before the snap. So what we want to do when we snap the ball is we're first going to read the read key. And that's the defender on the outside with the R above his head. If that defender crashes in on the running back handoff, we're going to keep the ball at the quarterback and continue on with our option play, in this case, flowing to the left. If that read key stays home, and basically, he'll do kind of like a, a breakdown animation where he'll kind of chop his feet. Wow, those, those icons are really moving all over the place. That's Madden 22 for you. If the defender kind of breaks down and does not commit to guarding the running back handoff, which is the first option, you're going to hand the ball off by holding A on Xbox or X on PlayStation. And it happens kind of fast. Uh, but I'm going to go through just a quick example right here. So right now, we're going to now be reading the, the read key, which is the defensive end with the R above his head. And so we snap the ball. And he, well, I did not run it very well there, but you can see that there is the, the breakdown animation from the read key. That's the defensive end number 97 right there. And so if you look, he kind of chops his feet down. He's not committing to the run. And I just did a poor job with the stick. I should have just taken that ball outside, but I handed it off. I executed the read correctly. That is triple option 101. And we do it one more time right here. Again, we're going to read the read key, which is now the outside linebacker. And he uh, did not commit to the run, so we hand it off, and we got some nice yards. I'm going to do it one more time. Typically, in practice mode, they will commit to the handoff. So let's get one more rep in here. And if you look, he actually committed to it that time. And this is actually a perfect example, guys, of one of the issues with triple option plays in Madden 22. But we executed the first read correctly. The first read, he committed to the handoff. We kept with our quarterback. That brings us to... The second option, which is keep with the quarterback, and the third option, which is pitch to the running back. Now, in order to decide whether you keep with the quarterback or pitch the running back, you're reading the pitch key, which is number 20 right here, and he is flying in at the quarterback, which means the correct read right here would be to pitch to the running back. Now, the issue with most triple option plays, except for what I'm going to show you in just a minute, is that the game will not let you pitch the ball until you get through this this animation with the quarterback where he has to take several steps. And by that time, it's usually too late to actually get the pitch off. And so right here, I was spamming the pitch button, which is LB on Xbox or L1 on PlayStation. I was already spamming the pitch button right here. I'm going pitch, pitch, pitch. It doesn't matter. The game will not let you pitch the ball other than on the one play I'm going to show you. And so that, I think, is a big reason why a lot of people are not running triple option right now. In the case of AI Nash, the pro player I mentioned, typically what I'm going to expect is that when he runs triple option, he is almost exclusively running this as a designed handoff. I think he just really likes the alignment and the blocking. And regardless of what that read key does, whether he crashes in or stays home, I think he could hand this ball off either way and usually get the short yardage that he's looking for. And so if you want a reliable handoff, a uh, short yardage play, I think that this triple option at pistol week can get the job done and get you one or two or three yards, but I don't think you want to execute it like a true triple option. Now, if you do want to run a true triple option, which is something that I actually, uh, after getting into triple option, I actually started doing it online, had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I actually also went to Georgia Tech, which ran a flex bone scheme for 10 years. And so I have a little uh, you know, special place in my heart for the triple option, but you're going to want to play triple option week 
sorry, triple option left and gun split slot open. Now I'm in a custom playbook right here so I can show you uh, those different kinds of triple options. But in the case of gun split slot open, triple option left, you can only find this in the Washington playbook. Now I did make a video on this play previously in the year, but back then the play was glitched and it did not actually function like a normal triple option. It basically let you take instant control of the quarterback and we were kind of uh, taking advantage of that fact that the play was broken to get some really big gains. Just you could call it a glitch, I guess. The play is now patched and it actually functions like a normal triple option. And it is the only play in the game that I think is a viable triple option where all three options can legitimately be used. And so the same principles apply that we just saw before. We still need to read the read key and the pitch key. The one difference is that we actually will be able to pitch the ball in enough time if the pitch key is uh, screaming in at us. So I'm just going to run through a couple more reps before I get into the game footage. So again, we're reading the defender with the R above his head. He crashes in. We keep with the quarterback and we make the pitch when the defender comes in and then we're off to the races. Now you have to be careful with those pitches. And if you think there's any chance that there might be a defender to the outside, I would recommend not pitching the ball because there's just too much of a risk of fumbling. So like right here, now that we know, well, in this case, we didn't pitch it anyway, but I saw that outside cornerback going back with the wide receiver. If I never saw the outside cornerback going deep, if you don't know where the outside cornerback is, I would recommend not pitching it because there's a very good chance you just pitch it right into him and then the ball's on the ground and you're probably turning it over and we do not want to turn the ball over. We want to protect the ball, which is tough because pitches inherently uh, can be pretty risky in Madden. And also I'll say once you get downfield, once you're more than like five or 10 yards downfield, you almost definitely don't want to pitch the ball. Just keep with the quarterback at that point uh, because either you introduce the risk of fumbling and also, sometimes the, the running back receiving the pitch will have some funky animations far downfield, like he'll stop running, and you might just end up losing yards compared to where you pitch it anyway. And so once you get five or 10 yards downfield, like right here, we're not going to pitch it. It's not worth it anymore. The one other thing I will say, we haven't gotten any of these examples yet, but if you play online, there's a good chance that your opponent will play on option defense conservative. And that means that the defender with the R above his head, the read key, he'll stay home. He won't commit to the handoff, the first option. And if that's the case, you have to be willing to take the handoff. You always, like, there, perfect, perfect example, perfect example. You always have to be willing to take the handoff, guys. So many people, they see the big play potential of the triple option, and they completely ignore making this first read. They just go, I'm going to keep it the quarterback. I'm either going to run with him or pitch it to the halfback and they completely ignore the read key. Well, if the read key's breaking down like that, you have to hand the ball off. That's, that's the reason the triple option works so well. And if you had kept it in this case, look, you've got the read key squared up on the quarterback. You've got the pitch key squared up on the halfback. You would have really left yourself in a world of hurt on this play. But you got to always make the read. And in this case, got a nice gain on it anyway. So that's the fundamentals of the triple option. And again, you can only really run this properly in the play triple option left out of the Washington playbook. And it all comes down to the fact that in every other triple option play, you are not able to pitch the ball soon enough. This play, once you uh, have the first option, once the running back goes by and you keep it the quarterback, you can instantly pitch the ball to the halfback. All the other triple options, you have to take like three or four steps because you're locked in an animation and that completely kills any possibility of the triple option working as intended. But if you want to be a true triple option demon, the play triple option left in the Washington playbook is your best bet. And so this was practice mode. I'm going to show you guys how it works in a game right now. All right, guys. So I hopped into a regs game with the goal of running triple option every single time. And on the first two plays, there was actually no read key on the field. That does happen sometimes. And in that case, I like to just keep with the quarterback uh, because that defender on the edge is going to get blocked. On my third play of the drive, this is where we had a perfect example of the triple option as we looked at in practice mode. We keep with the quarterback, we pitch the running back, and you can see that we are going to get a lot of really good yards. Now on the very next play, guys, this is what you'll probably see a lot online if you try to run triple option every play. My opponent tried to user the pitch. And when that happens, you have to be very disciplined and keep it with your quarterback. You see right there how he went after the pitch man. I'll back it up so we can watch it again. He went after the pitch man. You have to be disciplined. 
you have to keep with the quarterback in that case. They want you to pitch straight into their defender and catch the pitch and take it to the house for a touchdown. Be disciplined. Keep with the quarterback. Take your solid yards. Uh, and they'll try to bait you too. They'll try to come at the quarterback initially and then go to the outside. Only pitch it if you're 100% sure they're completely committed to the quarterback and they're not going after the pitch. If there's any chance they're going after the pitch, just keep it with the quarterback. Two plays later, he's going to try something pretty similar. He's going to loop around with his user and get a little bit closer to the QB, but I'm going to make sure I cut it inside, and then we're just off to the races. I cut it back again, and we get it down to the one-yard line. Now, here on second and goal, there are two things I want to point out. The first is that this play triple option left just isn't as good going to the left as it is going to the right, and that's because when you keep with the quarterback and you're going to the left, you get a little bit of a different animation where it's just a little bit of a hesitation from the quarterback. It slows you down just a little bit, not a ton, but just a little bit. And so ideally, I want to always run this play going to the right. The other thing is that I made a very risky pitch right here. This was probably a high risk pitch uh, that could have easily been a fumble. It worked out for me, but just keep that in mind. You don't always want to make these pitches when you're wrapped up by a defender. But in this case, it worked out for us. Uh, even though our receiver on the outside did not make his block, we outrun the defender anyway. Uh, but just be careful with these pitches, guys. I was going to pitch it no matter what because I was having fun and doing it for the video. If you're in a serious game right here, this is probably a situation where you just want to eat it because you don't want to take that risk. Obviously, it might work out for you. But at the same time, if that ball bounces off the defender's shoulder, it could get scooped up and taken the other way. So evaluate the risk. It's completely up to you. Uh, but that's triple option, guys. I think it's a blast. I think it's a really fun way to play Madden. It's different than what most people are doing right now. And there's a good chance that later in the year, I will try to build an entire scheme around this triple option play. And also, if the rumors are true that we're getting a new NCAA football game next year, then you might want to get into triple option mode to prepare for that. Because back in the NCAA 14 days, triple option was one of the best plays in the entire game. I don't know if that'll be the case this year, but triple option is just a really fun play. And I hope you guys will give it a shot and let me know how it goes for you. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. If you enjoyed my breakdown, check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TV. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a great one, and we'll catch you in the next video.